up a bit. There you go. I would dip the end of my fingers in sugary water. Here we are, in a wee drink. I, I was working out in the garden and I turned around and I said, oh, there's a bee. And it wasn't till I picked her up and I, I kind of looked at her and I, and I thought, you haven't any wings. And it was at that point I thought, whoa, how are you going to manage? So I gave her a wee sugary water. Sugary water in there. Ooh. Come in. I had a heather plant in the garden and I kind of hid it in there. I thought, okay, I'm really going to have to take you indoors. So here I am enjoying some pollen. Very windy outside. So we've brought the flowers in for me. She was out in her garden, but she likes these. Oh, is that good? I just felt that she was such a, a wee pet that she wasn't going to manage just very well on her own. I took her in my hand, took her to the house and thought, I really have a responsibility for this wee creature now. There she goes. You going to say hi to everybody? Oh, it goes. Come on. There you go. Special girl. Oh. I don't think I really thought at that time that we were so. bonding in any way. She just took to me right away. She would take drinks from my finger and she would crawl all over me. Oh, you're lively. Where are you going? Oh, you're off. Dun, 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 dun. She would snuggle into my hand and sleep. I'm going to hide. You're going to wee sleep now, are you? You say night night to everybody. Night night. Hmm. If I put my hand up, she crawled onto it right away. And I realised that there is something emotionally going on here just by the way she reacted to me. I think she definitely, to me, thrived with being with another living being. I was surprised a wee bit at my own feelings for her. It was just lovely. I would take her flowers and, and just let her eat her flowers. Oh, that's scrummy, isn't it? Of course, I'd talk to her, <laughs> as you do. <laughs> so we kick. Did you kick me off, did you? I felt she was just happy to be with me. I could tell days before she wasn't really interested in the pollen anymore. And I thought, this is it. She is really slowing down now. Because really, in bee terms, she was a wee old lady. Just later and later into the evening, she just got slower and slower. And she was in my hand. And uh, she died that night about half past ten. Her last wee leg, he moved. And she, that was her, a wee. She's in the garden. I put her with one of her favourite heathers. It's not marked, but I know where she is. Of course I was sad, but I was immensely proud that I had been able to give her a comfortable life. If anything that I hope has come, to, come out of this is that people will use their energy to plant flowers in their garden and let the bees and insects live there. Learn to live alongside them, that we respect them. I think that's our duty of care. I certainly felt that with bee.